the Kershaw Concierge. Probably the coolest knife name of the year, huh? Or like the butler. Yeah, they could have called it the butler. Mm -hmm. They could have called it the, I don't know, tour guide. Bag boy. Yeah. I don't know, bellhop. Mm. Good old beer winch. <laughs> beer winch. <laughs> How about Uber driver? <laughs> well, what I was really thinking about, too, a concierge is kind of like an old school, could just use a computer nowadays. What do you mean? Well, because a concierge is the guy that like tells you what to do while you're at the hotel. Mm -hmm. And I think it was before the internet was invented. So the Kershaw, Google it? <laughs> yes. All right, yeah. I, I get where you're going with it. Mm-hmm. Cool knife, though, and it is a Sinkovich design. Frankie, we like our Sinkovich knives. We love our Sinkoviches. What do you think of this one? I like it a lot. Yeah. It has a really nice feel to it. We've got some other Kershaws and some ZTs out to show size comparison, but um, this one, a little bit bigger than some of the knives we've seen and kind of fitting in that maybe middle category size-wise that yeah. people have been missing. With this crazy clip. Let's show a close-up of that. You guys see, it's actually set inside there. And I didn't think it was going to carry well. It, it carries reasonable enough. Mm -hmm. It's It can be a little difficult to get into your pocket. Yeah. But once Not it's too, in there, it's in there good. Well, once it's in there, it's in there good. And getting it out is no big deal. But it's just, yeah. It, it really is nice. And it makes for <laughs> really nice in the hand. Though, yeah, it thing. does. It's just smooth on this side. You just feel a little bit right there. But overall, it's good. Zero hot spots. Yeah. yeah. The concierge. We haven't even mentioned the price yet. Frankie. Thirty-seven ninety-five. What? Under forty dollars. That's awesome. Yep. Yep. And we will say, you can't not compare it immediately with this year's Atmos. Oh yeah. Also by Sinkovich. Well, look at the similarities. Yeah. So design-wise, pretty much Sinkovich. This one, biggest complaint by most people, it's just it's small. It's just really yeah. small. Yeah. So that's why they made it bigger. Yeah. Um, we got it out. I guess since we're doing size comparisons, but the 452, this in the ZT line, another obvious Sinkovich design. Well, I'm going to put this one right here, too. What do you got? The 450. The 450? So, kind of the same size as the 450, just really yeah, uh, just taller, a... you can see. Mm-hmm. The yeah, blade so... is right about the same, but the handle is just a little bit thicker, too. Right. So we're saying it, it kind of fits that medium size category that's been missing, perhaps. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, really and cool. it is a Kershaw, so we're talking the budget side of things. They haven't done it yet in for, for a ZT, that mid-size knife. But anyway, yeah, here we go. Frankie, for thirty-seven ninety-five, what are you getting? You are getting a 3.25-inch blade. Yep, and that is made out of 8CR13 MOV. Yes, it is a wonder steel. It's a wonder steel. It's pretty much, well, I'm going to go ahead and say maybe the god of blade steels. And, uh... Yeah, there's just not much better out there. Yeah. We're hearing it about it in, the, in the news constantly. Like, constantly. It is just all over the TV. It's like a magical steel. It really is. It's a magical steel. It's it's changed my life. Put it this way. Yeah. I think of everything pre-HCR 13 MOV and post-HCR 13 MOV. Yeah, like where were we before that? We were lost is where we were. <laughs> no yeah. kidding. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. 3.25 inch blade. It is... All blade down to uh, a finish, not really a choil, but just kind of drops off the edge there at the Frankie Ricasso. Mm hmm. Ricasso. Ricasso. Say it with your hands. Ricasso. So makes, <laughs> makes you feel cool. Yeah. And the thing that's different about this one, too, is it has like the, just the gray finish. It does, yeah. So far, this is, by the way, this is the only version that they come in right now, is what mm -hmm. you're looking at here. But yeah, it's got a gray finish on that blade there. It's still like the basic black wash that they usually do. Black wash, very popular with the Kershaw line or just something satin like the uh, Atmos, right? Yeah. Yeah, but the gray finish on there, kind of a dull gray. It well, it is. makes it all kind of, color-wise, it really just all blends in together. It works. Yeah, it's it looks good. Hollow grind on that fairly thin blade stock. We're talking... 0.11 of an inch. You can see it there. We'll compare, actually, compare it to something uh, a little thicker, the 452, how about? Okay. Yeah, I'll, hold, uh, I'll hold them up. The 452 on the right and the bag boy on the left. Yeah. Yeah, you can see a little thicker on the 452. All right. Yeah, that's pretty much the blade. Good usable blade shape and, might I say, cool profile. Yeah, it really, really is. Like a lot of Sinkovich knives, right? Yeah, that's why we really just love his his design. It's just super sleek and just stylish. We have 
yet to meet Dmitry Sinkovich. We, we um, um, I don't think he's been to any Blade show that we've been to. Maybe not. Yeah. 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 Interesting. He's too good for it. There's the pivot there. T8. Um, you put the pivot on wrong. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter. I know, it, but I'm going to have to replace it now. Fine. Switch it out. Okay. okay, I will. You're all ready. Yeah, I'm all ready. I fixed it. You didn't fix it. It makes no difference. <laughs> it makes it look better, though. All right. I will say, I did take this knife apart. Honorable mention to this, well, we turned it upside down. We don't want to advertise. We don't want to give them credit. <laughs> this mat, which is colored um, sex toy pink. Yes, dildo pink. I was just going to be, all right. I have loved this thing, okay? For taking apart knives, you can see all the screws and things like fall into these little slots here. Yeah, right? it just holds them into place. So you don't, they don't roll off the floor. They keep, uh, they keep all organized right in front of you. And then the pink, the color pops. <laughs> so all the hardware, you can see it clearly. This thing has actually been awesome. Yeah, we made fun of it, but whatever. Got it at Blade Show. <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right, back to this knife, the concierge, or sorry, the, the Uber driver. Uber driver, yeah. So the action on this, everybody's going to be concerned. Is it the same action as some of the manual knives lately that we see from Kershaw? Yeah, it is. It's really, really good. It is a manual knife, of course. The detent is awesome. Is it as good as the Atmos or, I mean, shoot, even the fault line these days, yeah. the fraction. Yeah, it's right up there with those. I'd say it doesn't quite have the magic of the Atmos, but that could be because this is a featherweight blade and that's actually got a little bit more weight to it. I actually prefer flipping this over that. Do you? Because that, the detent in like the flipper tab is super sharp. It's a little sharper, yeah. So this one you can just sit and play with all day long. Play with it all day long? Mm -hmm. You can't partially deploy this knife or it's difficult. You can partially deploy this knife. I was trying. Yeah. Go ahead. You I'll can try. try. See what I mean? Yeah. It's just a little snappier. It's a great detent. It's a great action. It's just a little snappier on the Atmos if you're familiar with that. All right, Frankie, what else? Well, you saw the bearings there. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think the biggest competition is actually Kershaw itself. <laughs> yeah, it you were talking really how much you like. I really like the fault line. That's the fault line. You can uh -huh. get these for twenty five dollars. That is, is a manual great. knife yeah. right there. The the concierge being the thirty seven or the thirty eight dollars. What else do we have? We have the fractions. These are right around thirty thirty one. Yep, on both those, and then the Atmos thirty or thirty one, something like that. So a little bit more expensive on the concierge. Why do I always forget the name of this one? I forget too. It's a. Um, it's a Matt Dis Diskin. Matt Diskin strobe. 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 That's right, Manual yeah. knife also good. You can get those for like twenty less than. Yeah, 20 that. Years. And then the ZT, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Very similar style to the ZT four five zero. Very very similar. Right. Right. But does it fit in with these? Absolutely. It's just kind of your taste and size. Um, outside of ZT, what are we talking? The LCK. The Ruger LCK by CRKT. I say Ruger. It's part of that, that line. Frankie, also that Miracle Steel. It is. This one has a KME edge on it. Beautiful KME. Guys, we make fun and stuff like that, but 8CR13MOV, it's surely a pleasure to sharpen. You brought out the little baby Honey Badger. I'm honey not badgers. sure. I wouldn't really put it in the same category. 30 bucks? 30 bucks? Well, yeah, the price category. Right. The Intrepid by Steel Will. Intrigue. That one. Oh, sorry. Intrigue, yes. Intrigue, yes. Similar size, similar weight. D2 steel, Frankie. The Rival. Oh, the Rival Wonder God steel? You know, there's, no way. there's a big portion of this audience that just think that D2 is the end-all, be-all of steel. It is. Right, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a couple in that category there. Um, yeah, there's a lot competing right now, which is good for the buyer, but there's oh, yeah, a lot for sure. competing for your money in this price range and this kind of uh, size and manual folders right now. So Yeah, look at that thing. great collection. That looks good together. The Sinkovich though, should you consider it? Yeah, Heck probably. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It is a little thicker. We didn't get the weight. Okay, and let's the do width, it. actually. Scoot you guys out of the way. Yeah, I'm guessing it's uh, pretty average around three and a half, maybe up to four. Mm. I think it might be a, it feels a little heavier to me. Yeah, 4.1. Okay. Okay. All right, let's see what the width is on that, because it's also, yeah, a little but, uh, thicker. But then you don't have the clip sticking out, so it's kind of different that way. True, but we never measure that actual dimension, um, no. but that will count when you actually have it in hand. 0. 0.52. 0. 0.52? I thought it would be more than that. Okay. Yeah. You know, it looks like it, it might uh, thicken up towards the middle. Yeah, let me go right there. 0. 0.54. Okay. A little bit thicker. Okay, yeah. Pretty much the same, but anyway... 
thicker than half an inch, so it's it's, it's definitely on the slightly yep. thicker side. Yeah, the um, the concierge. We joke about it, but it's a Sinkovich knife. It's a good old beer winch. Yeah, you can get you can get other knives. Possibly you like D2 steel better and and, and for less money, but it's not going to be a Sinkovich. I mean, that's that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Listen to it. It is a great action, and we're seeing more and more of this from Kershaw lately on these yeah. manual knives. So yeah. All right, I think that's everything on the concierge. Mm -hmm. Yep, pick one up. Yep. All right, thanks a lot for joining us. Bye.